What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Box Trucker channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to delete the governor on the Predator 212 Hemi motor. So we've already made a video showing you how to bypass the governor through the spring with a zip tie, which is probably the easiest way. Today we're going to do the more in-depth way. Some people would argue that it's easy, but it definitely takes a little bit of time and know-how. We're going to be removing the governor gear all the components and the oil sensor. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to like and subscribe because next time we're going to be doing it to this guy. So I've already drained all the oil out and the first thing you're always going to want to do is start with the gas tank. These are the first two bolts and the third one is on the other side right here. So I've got all the bolts out and I'm just going to take a pair of vice grips, put that on the fuel line so I can go ahead and unplug it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take this cover off and we're going to take the flywheel off. So the pin that holds the governor gear inside the motor is underneath the flywheel right here. And I'm going to try to do this in real time so you all know exactly what to expect, but it's really not that bad. That's all it takes to get the flywheel off. It's really just one bolt once you get the cover off. This is the pin we're trying to get to. We're gonna open up the side case now and knock it through. For now, we're done with this side of the motor. So we're gonna flip it over and take the side cover off. I'm gonna leave the stock throttle assembly. So for now, we're just taking off the governor arm. I always hear people say in their videos that if you're careful when you take this off, you can save the gasket but I've only seen that one time and it was on a brand new Tillotson. The only thing I'm focused on when I'm taking off this cover is not bringing the camshaft, which is right here up with the cover when I take it off. And I've also already ordered a gasket, so if it breaks, it breaks, doesn't matter. Go Power Sports. So, of course, we got a rip gasket, but the cam gear stayed where it needed to be, and that's what I wanted. So I'm going to cut the top of the governor arm, and that way the rest of the arm will be able to come out this way. And it'll come out in just a second. Okay, I've got the crankshaft positioned so that the governor gear can come straight at the camera. I'm gonna go to the other side and hit the pin out. I don't know if y'all saw that, but it all came out in one piece with just a couple of hits. That was awesome. 
How many times you seen one of these off the motor still functioning? So that's the hole where the governor gear used to be. And I'm just going to end up plugging that with a self-tapping bolt. I used this 2x4 to make sure the cam gear didn't come out. But now I'm about to line up the timing and take it out so we can get that oil sensor out of there. So all you got to do is take those two bolts out and cut that wire. Okay, so we got the oil sensor out and we got the governor gear out. As far as the wire for the oil sensor, I'm going to trim it down just a little bit, but you want to leave that because there's no need to tap a screw. So that is the best way to remove the governor and the oil sensor. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can see part two where I switch out the valve springs and put everything back together. Thanks for watching.